Hello everyone, welcome to my video series on how to play pool for beginners. I have been playing pool for 20 plus years. I'm not a professional player, but I consider myself to be pretty decent. Just recently, my husband decided that he wanted to learn to play pool. He has been watching me for years, but has never picked up a stick. While teaching him, I noticed that there is not very many good videos for beginners on YouTube. So I have decided to make a series of videos to help beginners learn the game so they can flourish in the sport one day. In order to do the first set of drills in this series, you will need a few items. You will need a pool table to practice on and a pool stick. If you don't own a table, I recommend going to businesses with a table earlier in the day or at other times when they are less busy. The first set of drills are best done when you can focus and repeat the drills several times. You will also need the items to make an aiming aid. The aiming aid will help you quickly learn how to pocket balls and gain the muscle memory needed to be consistent. The aiming aid is easy and inexpensive to make and you will most likely have some of the items at home already. The first thing you will need to make the aiming aid is circular paper reinforcement stickers. Any brand will do. The second thing you will need is tape. You can use packing tape, masking tape, or painter's tape. You just need to make sure that it's an inch to three inches wide. And finally, you'll need a black Sharpie and a ruler. And that completes our list. When you're ready to make your aiming aid, put a piece of tape down on an appropriate surface. Then you're gonna to wanna to draw a line down the center of the tape using your black Sharpie. Then place a dot on the line toward one end of the tape. Using your ruler, measure five and a half centimeters from that dot and mark that point on the line. Now you will need two paper reinforcement stickers. You will place them so that the dot on the line is in the very center of each sticker, just like you can see in the video. To ensure the paper reinforcement stickers are correctly spaced, grab a couple object balls. You should be able to place the object balls on the stickers and they should be touching, almost pushing each other off the stickers. If the balls are not touching, the stickers are placed too far apart. And if both balls aren't able to sit on the stickers, then the stickers are placed too close to each other. Now it is time to test our aiming aid. Place the aiming aid so that the object ball will be 12 to 18 inches from the pocket. Place it similarly to how I have it shown on the video. To ensure that it is correctly placed, use your pool cue and make sure the line on the aiming aid is lined up with the center of the pocket. Then place an object ball on the dot on the aiming aid closest to the pocket. Place the cue ball on the table, giving yourself a fairly easy shot. Then aim the center of the cue ball to the center of the dot on the back of the aiming aid. Hit the ball with a nice smooth stroke. If the aiming aid is set up correctly and you aimed accurately, the ball should go down the center of the pocket. Repeat the drill several times to ensure that your aiming aid is set up accurately. If you are a brand new player, it may be beneficial to have a more advanced player test the accuracy of the aiming aid. Inconsistencies in your stroke could cause you to miss the shot even if everything is set up correctly. If you find yourself consistently overcutting the ball like the shot in the video, then the dots on your aiming aid are too far apart. While if you're undercutting the ball like this shot in the video, then the dots on your aiming aid are too close together. And now you have your very own aiming aid. The remainder of the videos in this series will include drills using this aiming aid. If you learned anything from my videos, please like and subscribe to show your support. Remember to play hard and have fun. Bye.